One family did what a lot of families do on the 4th of July. They bought some fireworks and then they set them off in the front yard. But nobody really expected what happened next. Watch closely. A rogue firework forces everybody to run for their lives. Correspondent Marky Martin joining us tonight. Marky, the video has been circulating online for a few days. We all had to do some digging, our team behind the scenes, to try to figure out where this happened. Finally, we've got the story behind it all. Oh, yeah, we tracked down that family, Marnie. This video has gone gangbusters online. This was not the fireworks show that anybody expected that night. And yeah, we talked to the family, and they said that they watched as 4th of July turned their driveway into a war zone. All of our, you know, closest friends get together. We barbecue, the kids swim. Um, and then in the evening, we light off fireworks. <laughs> fireworks that turned into something you have to see to believe. A chain reaction, sending a driveway up in smoke on the 4th of July. One of the other adults uh, lit a firework that just kind of went rogue um, and lit the other fireworks that were behind the breakboard. And the families running for cover. The fireworks that were behind the breakboard next to the car, um, those ignited. And when they ignited, obviously you can see in the video that they all went off pretty much at once. And by nothing short of a miracle. There was actually no injuries. Everyone is well. Uh, no property damage. So, yeah, we lucky. Everything and everyone unscathed. Not even the fire department or police called. And we checked. It's kind of shocking how undamaged it all was. The couple, who spoke to News Nation Prime exclusively and anonymously, have been taken from their quiet Nebraska home and thrown into the spotlight. Even Simply Safe, the home security system reached out to them. because of the now viral video that they tell us they didn't even share. We didn't post it. We didn't give anyone permission to post it. It just ended up on Reddit the next day it was, you know, meant for uh, insurance purposes. They were hoping to stay out of the headlines, but as the video spreads, they wanted to shut down rumors. You know, there were assumptions that we had burned our house and our neighbor's home down and blew up a van and we we definitely that is something that we don't take lightly and you know while it is fun to to let kids do those things um it's just not something that we would let them do they say it's a wake-up call just the lesson that is learned with becoming complacent in our safety. And how about that minivan that took the brunt of the sparks? That minivan is perfectly fine. <laughs> the family that owns it is still using it and driving it right now. I mean, Marnie, you watch that video and you just say to yourself, what just happened? It is unreal. And we thought for sure that car would be fried. Nope, car's fine, everybody's fine. In fact, so okay, the police department didn't even know this happened in their town. And lastly, I'll just reiterate, this family does wish to remain anonymous because as you can imagine, with millions of views and shares, they've gotten a lot of well wishes, but also a ton of criticism right. as well. Marty. Well, Marky, I mean, our first question we saw at one was, is it real and how recent is it? Because we'd never seen it. And, and two, of course, is, is everybody okay? I am amazed that everybody was okay uh, because what looked bad just got worse and worse. And then you're like, oh my gosh. Um, but I think they bring up a really interesting point about yeah. complacency because this family had done this before. Um, they went through the motions of preparing the safety things, but sometimes you just go through the motions. Um, and so she said something interesting that it, it's, it's actually thinking about what you're doing, taking some extra steps for what is an annual tradition, because as you can see, it can go wrong and sideways really, really fast. Yeah, she said they do this every year. And what you can't see in the video, what people didn't focus on in the video, of course, with all the explosions going off, they had a hose in the front yard. They were ready for things to go haywire. You might expect one Roman candle to go rogue, but not the entire 
lot to go haywire. So they were prepared. They wanted to reiterate that. But um, yeah, things went south quickly, and it's a miracle. Everybody's OK. It really is. I see that mom grab the baby and take off just within seconds of the fireworks going off. Um, yeah. They were sports for talking to us. Um, I'm glad we found them. And most importantly, I'm glad they're OK. Uh, Marky, thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.